Hello, it's Philly here. Um, haven't been around for a long time. I've still been making soap. I have just been um, busy and haven't gotten around to doing any videos. So I thought I'd best get back into it today. Um, I'm making a soap today centered mainly in um, cold water by Aroma. Uh, I haven't quite got enough in that one bottle, so I'll be adding a little bit of El Melfi Coast to it just to um, make sure I have enough fragrance oil. So I'm going to do today four layers, um, various greens and blues, with uh, gold mica line in between each layer. Um, so I should get started. I'm actually doing two batches of soap. So just because that's what I happen to have in the fridge. The two batches is enough to make, um, fill up my big mould here. So we shall get started. So I've just brought this up to emulsification and I'm going to split this into two. Um, and then I'll fragrance and colour each portion. So I pour off approximately half. Oops, try and pour it in the bowl, not on the bench, would be good. Okay, that's around about half. So my first layer will be uh, Pea Pod Mica from Bath Bomb World. So I shall add that and my fragrance oil. Just got to weigh out the fragrance oil, so just be sick. Give that a quick blend. I think I want it a little darker than that though, so I'll just add some more mica. oil might be messing with the colour a little bit too because um, those two don't look exactly the same. So I'll pour this one and then we'll do the next. Hopefully it doesn't mess with all my colours. Definitely, definitely done something to the colour there. Maybe it will um, morph back. I guess that we won't know until tomorrow when it's all set and I cut it. So I'll give this a, thump, a thump on the floor and then I'll put it aside for a minute while I get the next colour ready. Fragrance oil is in there. And the next colour is Elusive Mica from my Mica Obsession. I don't know how much I have left. Okay, going. Good. This colour doesn't look like it's changed. which is good. So put that over there for a second. Come back here. I've just got a spoon and I'm just going to randomly texture the top. Because I don't want smooth layers. And I have some grandua mica in my little sifter and I'm just going to tap that over. I hope I've got enough to do each layer. If I don't I'll have to swap to a different gold mica 
which I don't think you'd really, really notice because it's only in the layers. There we go. Now I'm going to pour the next colour, which is the uh, elusive green. pretty thick but I'll still pour it on my spatula and then I'll leave that to set up while I finish preparing my next lot of batter. Okay I'm back just going to I've just textured the top of this second layer I'm just going to sprinkle my mica over the top of that. So I've already split my batter in half here um, the next colour is Tutti Fruity from my Micro Obsession. Just wanted a few different, I didn't quite have the exact colours I wanted, but just have to work with what I've got. I need to place an order again with Amanda. Um, I'm just going to add my fragrance, give this a quick blend, see what it does to this mica colour. Good. I should not need to break the fall with this one just because the last batch has been sitting there for five minutes or so, so we should be right just to pour it straight in. I'll still pour it gently of course, but... Smells so good. I'll enjoy cutting this tomorrow. Oh, you'll get to see me use my new soap cutter. I got a soap cutter from uh, Mark's Cutters here in Australia, uh, custom made for the bar size that I do, because most people do um, about an inch, but I cut my bars at three centimeters, which is a bit bigger. So he made mine especially. I'm gonna bang this on the ground. Let it sit there while we get the next colour ready. Now I was a bit concerned the next colour might be um, too close to the previous colour. So I've just got some titanium dioxide to lighten it up if I need to. And the next one is chambray, also my micro obsession. So I might add just a touch of titanium to that. Um, I've got to just add my fragrance, I better not forget that. So it's El uh, cold water type, and then just a touch of El Melfi Coast, just because I don't have quite enough with the one bottle. And I think I will add just a smidge, just a smidge. Titanium dioxide mixed with water. Add a bit of a stir. Texture the top of this, and then we should be right to pour. So just random. No particular pattern. I just don't want straight lines. Because, you know, cool waters, our Melfi case, we kind of like it. Want it to be a little bit like waves in the ocean. May not have enough mica, but I do have some in a different colour, so. We might be resorting to that, I think. Top layer is setting up nicely. Ready to pour. Hopefully it finds its way into all those little divots 
it's quite thick good bang on the ground should help so you can only see the top of the bowl I've actually made a few videos over the last few weeks but I was in a different spot in my soap room and it just wasn't working so I didn't um, didn't finish editing them so I thought oh, I shall go back to over here still not perfect because I know that the it doesn't take it at exactly the right angle but it's all I got for the moment I don't know how to work with more professional gear so I've just got my phone really not very um, savvy with computers and stuff I'll bang this on the ground and I've got some gold mica here mixed with olive oil and I'm just going to splash that on the top a little bit just giving it a bit of a stir alright so it's just some gold mica mixed with olive oil just to with the gold theme and I'll probably come along with my um, I'm holding it up high because I want it to maybe make little divots in the soap if it will I'll come along with my kebab stick and um, just give everything a bit of a wavy look on top I'm so happy with my uh, multi cutter, I really am, because I was cutting all these bars as you know, single bars before, and having to measure before I cut because I was using an industrial size cheese cutter. Um, so I'm actually thinking of contacting Mark again and getting him to make me a um, a log splitter. His waiting list is a little bit long, but that's because he. He's probably one of the only ones in Australia making um, soap cutters and everybody wants one. So there we go. Beautiful. I'll bring you down for a look. So there we go. It's focused. To the top. The blue that you're seeing on the screen is not the blue that I'm seeing. It's kind of changed the colour through the camera lens but we'll be back tomorrow to cut it okay this is my new soap cutter it's open on the end so I can put my extra long loads in there hopefully you'll be able to see everything clearly so just put the soap loads in there and gently Push down. And take out a bar. And there we go. And my two blues are quite similar, but they're far enough apart. Gold on the top. I'm happy with this bar. It looks like that green has um, morphed back to being a bit more like the green in the bag. But Marker lines nice and strong. So there we go. Thank you for um, watching this video and hopefully I will get back into it and make some more.